Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. Uh, welcome back to uh, the second part in the Blender to Unreal character creation series. Uh, what we'll be doing today is um, we'll be taking this character, well, this base mesh that we created in Make Human. We'll just be um, making a couple of renders of it and then we'll open up a program called GIMP and then we'll just use some basic painting techniques, well, not even really, we'll just uh, sketch over the drawings that we, uh, the, or the renders that we made, so we can get a general idea where we want to go with the character, what type of design we want to follow. Um, I find this handy to work off of some form of concept, um, unless you are more comfortable with working off a 3D concept. But um, uh, let's get started and then I can show you all um, what we're going to do. First of all, let's just smooth out this model. So select all and then smooth it out. And then just here by your um, a render tab over here, just you'll see there's an option for resolution. Um, so I'm just going to 50%, it will take that resolution and half it. So I'm just going to make that a full 100%. And then I'm going to render an OpenGL image because I don't want the full render, it's completely unnecessary. Okay, it's a little bit close. Okay, no, that actually looks okay. So this image I'm going to save as. You see I've already tested it, so I'm just going to save over those. And then the same thing, just an OpenGL render image. And then save as. Okay, and that's pretty much all that we're going to be doing in Blender. So this is GIMP. Um, this is the latest version. Um, I think it's, uh, if we just have a look here, uh, 2.8.14. I do have a couple of other plugins installed, but we'll cover that uh, once we actually start using the plugins. So I'm just going to open the images that I rendered. Let's go here. So we're just going to use the front part for now. And then um, it all really depends on you what, what you want to do from here. Um, I did go onto the internet and got a lot of reference. I wanted to create almost a post-apocalyptic character, but I'm not 100% sure, so I might go for an in-between look. All that I know, it is going to be a soldier type character. So, um, without uh, further waiting, um, let's get started in drawing on the character. Uh, just one thing, if you do have a Wacom tablet, uh, let's show you here. Um, I do have one input devices. Sometimes, for some unknown reason, this does not get highlighted if you do have a tablet installed. For some reason, if you open GIMP, and I'll show you now, and your tablet is not active at that point. So if you're not using the cursor like I am now with the tablet, for some unknown reason, it will not register up here. So you'll see now, there we go, it's registered. So just uh, bear that in mind if you do have a tablet. I'll just open that again. Also, another thing to bear in mind is, let's just go over to Paintbrush. Um, you'll see the ruler over here where my, um, curse, my mouse pointer is uh, hovering around. As soon as you go over, you'll see there's a lot of input lag. So if I just quickly create a new layer, I'll just hide the other one, and you start drawing away, that input lag is unbearable. So one way uh, what you need to do to disable that is... You go to your view and show rulers or shift control r and you'll see the side uh, rulers disappear and as soon as you do that there we go perfect so let's just get started uh, i'm going to start drawing i'm not too sure if i'm going to time lapse this but um, just uh, see if you guys can keep up with uh, what i'm doing uh, so I just want, I actually want to create some armor 
on the character. Now, uh, what will happen with this drawing is I will not be drawing any accessories or anything like that because accessories can mainly um, be created afterwards. Once you have your base character, you have set up, okay, he's going to wear a shirt or something like that, then the accessories can always be added on later. It does not have to be added on in the drawing, uh, or in, in the original concept of the character. Um, that type of thing, you can always just, uh, if you want like a knife on the side, you can add it in later yourself. If you want a tool belt, that's, that's something you can do. Uh, at a later stage, which doesn't affect the main part of the the modeling process. I'm just going to zoom in here. So to give you an idea what this is, I'm actually just blocking out what I suspect might eventually become armor. A little bit too small. Uh, if you want to know, I'm just using a normal brush, pitch black, Wacom tablet, and to increase and decrease the size of your um, brush, you just use the bracket keys on your keyboard. And let's go like so. So I think what this part is going to be is an armor plate with another set of armor going running down like that. And just to make it look a little bit authentic, you can like put little bolts on the sides. Obviously, I do recommend using a Wacom tablet. You can draw all of this with a mouse, but it is going to take you quite um, a long time. But uh, it is all possible. I did it for a couple of years before I uh, bought myself a tablet and um, while it is not impossible uh, you'd save yourself a lot of uh, headaches if you just go out and spend a couple of dollars to get a Wacom tablet. Okay so here I'm just going to create this is kind of like where the, the arm bends in so I'm just going to like emphasize that I think we're going to create almost an armor plate part here in the front and it runs like that And then because I'm at a funny angle with the hands, uh, you would normally switch to the side view, but for this part, I'm just going to focus on uh, what the front of the, the character looks like. Uh, side view things can be easily adjusted because we already have the model proportions. It mainly, I mainly just use side view um, uh, drawings to get proportions right if I work from 2D concept, but because I'm not working from 2D concept, um, that is not required. Okay, so I have an idea that I kind of want to do a helmet. I am not too sure on what type of helmet I want to do. Let's do like a side over there. create one big visor as such. Helmet is going to go off a little bit because it has to cover the earpiece. Uh, 
messing up a little bit, but as this is just a, a rough sketch, um, Okay, well, I'm just going to draw a basic belt in here. Let's make it have like a little clip. We can maybe do something like that. And then I think it's just going to be normal pants basically um, so just going to draw the folds and things like that in here obviously you remember that the character from make human is uh, originally naked so um, to bear that, you just bear that in mind that uh, clothing does add a little bit of extra padding onto your character. So uh, if you get like a very bulky character in uh, Make Human, just take into account that he does actually need clothes on. Um, they do have an option in Make Human for clothes, um, but uh, very lim limited. We do like a uh, almost a knee pad because he is a soldier type, a soldier type character. Just do something like that. So very rough drawing. And then uh, I said I want boots on the character. So, just work on um, annoying and going a bit out of bounds here. Let's just zoom out. Nope. Let's make him a bit more of a war tone character. I'm just gonna add some uh, bands across the boot here. It does almost blend too much. I'll just do a little bit of that. So, um, this starts getting you a rough idea of uh, what you're visualizing. So if you disable that, um, your layer, the original base layer, you can start getting an idea of what your character block out to start look like. Um, let's just see here. I think I'm going to put almost like a, I don't know what you call that, a piece of material. Um, a lot of the influence that comes off some of the uh, Destiny concept art that I was uh, uh, looking at earlier just for some inspiration and some uh, concept that I had ideas for for a game that I wanted to do myself at one stage but um, you know, I learned the hard way that don't plan a project too big I think we're gonna let's make a, a hood Of, uh, disable that again. See, that's starting to look a little bit um, weirder. Okay, well, you can start erasing some things. You'll just see the eraser over there. Um, if you do have a, a Wacom tablet, if you just turn the pencil around, it will like change to a different selection that you had. So that uh, makes it a, like a little bit of a shortcut. I think I 
going to erase this section here because I'm kind of creating that hood and then just go over it again. So I'm just going to add a white background, move the layer down. That way you actually see a little bit better um, what my plan is. So this centerpiece I can actually completely ignore. If I eventually do get to the point where I'm creating this hood, I might actually get rid of the helmet completely. But because we have the head uh, that we set up in Make Human to follow as reference, um, modeling the face itself will not be um, that difficult. So, so yeah, well, I think this is pretty much what I'm going to use as my concept. Uh, I'm going to start with the next video. I'll, I'll maybe draw a little bit more. I'll add on some, some extra things, like I said, um, a tool belt, um, maybe a, a knife hanging off the side. But this was just to give you like a, a rough idea of where you would start with your concept. Um, don't just uh, go into your, 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 your character unless you're very comfortable with 3D characters. Don't just go into your character without having some idea of actually where you are uh, wanting to go. So um, at this current moment, I am kind of getting the feel for him, uh, for what exactly I want to do with the character. So uh, I hope you guys are starting to become a bit more comfortable with your characters as well, so, so that you know where you want to take the, their designs as well. And then um, as soon as you, um, I, I quit this video, you can work on it a little bit more, your own um, designs. And then the next video we'll be uploading or we'll be starting uh, doing some of the basic sculpting. Uh, as we did split the models up into different sections, it's going to be a little bit easier to model section by section. Um, and uh, then also it will make parts interchangeable if you want to create like a, a variety of characters. So I hope you guys like what you saw. If you did, leave a like, uh, leave a comment. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, as I said, I'm uploading more videos. I'm going to try and keep it more constant. I thank you everyone for watching and I will see the rest of you or all of you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.